if you're only learning the methods by the names and definition, it gets confusing fast. This is what I wish more set ones knew. Tip 3. Separation techniques may seem tricky at first, but when students relate it to daily life, like brewing tea and drying laundry, understanding becomes natural. Tip 2. Some methods require combo moves. For example, if you have an insoluble salt, filter first, followed by evaporation to knock out the liquid. Learn them in sequence, not in isolation. If you're only learning the methods by the names and definition, it gets confusing fast. That is why we break it down visually and step by step in our Set 1 CCI Chemistry course. We'll cover key concepts on solutions and suspensions, separation techniques and more using our coloured notes, visual examples and guided practice. You can join us on-site at our grid campus or live via Zoom, whichever works best for you. By the end of it, you'll be able to confidently apply these techniques in your exams. And last but not least, tip 1. You don't just pick the method. You need to think about the properties of the substances that you are separating. For example, given a solid-liquid mixture, is the solid soluble or insoluble? Heat-stable or unstable? If you want to walk into Term 4 knowing exactly what's going on, this is your chance to make that happen. Limited slots available. Sign up now.